the eggheads are back after their Christmas break at six o'clock here on BBC Two Northern Ireland. Right after we join Paul Martin. <laughs> puts a smile on the face of the dragons in an hour. But first on BBC Two, the start of another epic journey with Simon Reeve. distinguished graduates compete in a festive university challenge in an hour. Now, though, on BBC Two Northern Ireland, trekking deep into tiger territory with Giles Clark. Watching BBC Two Northern Ireland now and indeed very timely this weekend with the launch of the brand new series last night. We're going back to the 1960s when an inspirational producer launches her doctor in an adventure in space and time. Some violent scenes and very strong language now on BBC Two Northern Ireland in a network premiere of a perfect love story until it became the perfect crime.
The Cockney Who Conquered Hollywood, the life and career of Michael Caine coming up in 45 minutes. Enjoying ready meals now on BBC Two Northern Ireland, but you won't need a microwave. Well, now it's all about the food and drink at 10 to 12 today when Tom Carriage reveals how to keep your food tasty and nice and simple. That's here on BBC Two Northern Ireland after some kitchen time with James. <laughs> Achieve success on a plate. That's in half an hour here on BBC Two Northern Ireland. Two, we look at the work of Yukio Ninagawa, which is introduced by the actor Brian Cox. Now we join an ancient adventure filled with rotten Roman rascals and gallant Gauls and follow the antics of Asterix in Britain. Now on to a classic movie to end our classic television Christmas, starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall. Private Eye Philip Marlowe puts together the pieces of a complex mystery in The Big Sleep. Every perfect Christmas draws to a close with a chilling ghost story, so BBC Two has dug up one of the most eerie from the archive vaults. From 1976, starring Denham Elliott, The Signalman. To start off, let's delve back to 1953. Here's Bill and Ben and Little Weed in a seasonal episode of their children's favourite, The Flowerpot Men. Now, Her Majesty's Address to the Commonwealth. BBC Two's A Perfect Christmas marks one of television's oldest Christmas traditions in a far from traditional way. And now our perfect Christmas on two takes us to 1974 and a familiar junkyard somewhere in West London. Christmas is coming and Harold is already thoroughly fed up with the festivities. As time is always tight in the run-up to Christmas, why not get all your Christmas TV viewing over and done with in just half an hour, in a stocking full of Christmas clichés. Now, the evacuees, the tale of two Jewish schoolchildren packed off to stay with a strange family during the war, originally shown on Christmas Day 1975. Classic family drama for a perfect Christmas, here on two. And now on BBC Two, Frost in the Air. you can always depend on the weather as a good conversation opener. Now on BBC Two, we begin a whole evening dedicated to that great British preoccupation. First, BBC Two commissions a designer interior to provide the setting for tonight's dance house. To continue the war and peace season now on to a different aspect on experience of war, the choice of the conscientious objector.
Alfred Hitchcock at his very best in a masterpiece of suspense now on BBC Two. A sinister obsession lures James Stewart and Grace Kelly to the brink of tragedy in Rear Window. But first, hot breath and cold print. Tall, dark, handsome strangers, petite blonde heroines, and prolific writers reveal the secrets behind a successful Mills and Boone romance. This is Birth Night on BBC Two. Now, Mia Farrow and John Cassavetes star in Roman Polanski's cult horror film Rosemary's Baby, a nightmare journey into witchcraft and Satanism in New York. On its original release in 1968, one critic suggested that pregnant women should see it at their own risk. Let that be a warning. Now on BBC Two, more crime and punishment. Two young men from a privileged background for fun, exercise and evil act. But who? Or what is to blame? Based on a true story and shown in Cinemascope, Dean Stockwell, Bradford Dillman and Orson Welles star in Compulsion. Well, the after-Margaret season continues now with excerpts from the diaries of an unusual cross-section of the rich and famous and the not-so-rich or famous. Dateline November 22nd, 1990. Murder, madness and dark humour rule BBC Two over the next week in our festive black Christmas season. To begin, horror from Vincent Price. And don't try this at home. BBC Two's Saturday night is devoted to a special birthday celebration. Having reached the big 3-0, it's only fitting that one of BBC Two's first controllers, David Attenborough, looks back at the last three decades to see how his baby has grown. November the 9th marks the fifth anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall and the ensuing collapse of communism in Eastern Europe. The first in our Tales from Berlin season, now on BBC Two, tells the story of the wall itself and the people it divided. An atmospheric chiller to round off Christmas night now, as BBC Two spends a weekend at Hill House in Robert Wise's study of terror and evil. The Haunting. In search of bright lights in a big city, only to discover violence and corruption, Alain Delon stars in Lucchino Visconti's epic family saga, Rocco and his brothers. than expected, BBC Two continues a weekend on Mars with a journey to discover the sort of alien life forms which could conceivably exist in deep space.
And so all of that begins with the first of this afternoon's trilogy here on BBC Two from David Attenborough. They compile their own family quiz each Christmas, but can the kings defeat the eggheads at six? After BBC Two goes vintage now with a show that's right up your street. Before that, and also part of the season launching the BBC's Millennium, BBC Two brings back some classic celluloid memories. Well, that about wraps up Christmas Day here on BBC Two. Thanks for your company tonight. Whatever you've been doing today, I hope you've had a wonderful time. From me and the late team, have a very good night. Revelling in evil and the pursuit of pleasure, Vincent Price is the devil worshipper now on BBC Two. Roger Corman's The Mask of the Red Death. And now for the first time on BBC Two, Springfield's favourite shopkeeper in Much Apu About Nothing. Here on BBC Two, it's time for more Simpsons Night. You're watching I Love 1970 on BBC Two. Yeah! Next, it's the film Zabriskie Point. The students are revolting. Here, there's bad language in the air. That just about wraps up Christmas Day on BBC Two. Boxing Day begins bright and early at six o'clock with breakfast from BBC News. For now, though, from the late team here at Television Centre in London, sleep well and we'll see you for a turkey sandwich sometime tomorrow. Good night. New romantic bands, BMX bikes and shoulder pads that'll knock you flat over the next ten Saturday nights on BBC Two. We're reliving the 80s year by year, starting tonight with Fame the Movie at half ten, after I Love 1980 with Larry Hagman. Smile, it's Monday, and you're watching Comedy Night on BBC Two. First, a new series of Never Mind the Buzzcocks. You can try playing at home, but you won't be very good. Goodbye. You're watching BBC Two. Energize. You're watching BBC Two's bank holiday special, Gold TV. You're watching BBC Two. Night School TV continues with person.
The exam process for doctors to be Monday at 8 on 2. New from Jennifer Saunders, tomorrow at 9 on 2. Look your last now because the face of BBC Two is changing forever as of tomorrow morning. To take us into the new world, an old but well-respected film from director Robert Wise.